Hello YouTube, I'm Dr. Fox. Today, I'm talking about herpes and pregnancy. Herpes is a very common viral infection and there are two different types. HSV1 usually causes cold sores on and around the mouth and HSV2, also known as genital herpes, usually causes sores in or around the genitals, that is, a woman's vagina or a man's penis. Okay, you may be wondering if you have herpes, will your baby be infected? There is a possibility that your baby will be infected. For this reason, you must tell your doctor or nurse if you have or have ever had either HSV1 or HSV2. If you have genital herpes, your baby may be infected while she is being born, as the infection can be passed on when she is in your birth canal. This is why it is vital that your doctor knows if you are infected, so you can start taking medicine during your pregnancy. The danger to your baby gets greater as you get into the third trimester. If you have a new infection then, your baby is at serious risk. When you are getting near the time your baby will be born, both you and your doctor should check your vagina. If you have active pelvis, your doctor will probably advise you to have a caesarean delivery and your baby may have to take medicine for the first few weeks of her life. You should also keep a very careful eye on your newborn baby to see if there are any signs of infection. This could be an infection, blisters or not wanting to eat. Okay, another question would be, what if your partner has genital herpes? If your partner has an active outbreak of genital herpes, it is vital that you use a condom, including when you are already pregnant. Don't try to get pregnant when he is having an outbreak, and it's best not to have sex with him at all. Darling the third trimester, as an infection at that time is the most dangerous for your baby. If there is any risk, ask your doctor to test you twice, first early on in your pregnancy and second when you have got to 32 to 34 weeks. If he or you has oral herpes around the mouth, don't have oral sex as the virus could go from your mouth to your genitals and infect the baby. You also may wonder how can you stop your baby getting oral herpes? My answer is Never let anyone with a cold sore kiss your baby. Okay, thank you for watching. See you soon.